Welcome back, everyone, to Pontus by Mojave's. This is season one of our OD&D project uh, learning chainmail season. We're on episode number five. Uh, we've got the chainmail rules for medieval miniatures here. Uh, we've also put together a Battle of Agincourt, uh, French versus the English. Uh, we're reenacting the famous battle from the Hundred Years' War, fought on October 25th, 1415, with Henry V on on the stage. He's actually here in the thick of combat. We've got the French Dauphin here. The French are actually doing quite well in this version of history, uh, mostly due to my rushing their advance and not playing a, a, a strategic defensive position. But I really wanted to get into melee and test out the rules. We've done a little work with, the, uh, with archery rules. We've done a little work with melee rules. Uh, we've, we've accommodated for the muddy field per the Per the rules, we're going to look at morale. We didn't do many morale checks, so we'll check out how the morale checks work out in this turn and just get to a point where we can uh, wrap up the game. Um, and uh, we'll jump right into round number five. So before we jump watching. into the combat, a quick shout out to this channel's sponsor, Paltos Fathom Press. We've got a bookstore link down in the description where you can find the Cactu Journals out of Lovecraft's Providence. It's the omnibus collecting the six volumes uh, of the two trilogies from August Moldenhauer and Giuseppe Balsamo, including Necromancy of Nyarlathotep, Hermeticism of Hastor, Psychoanalysis of Rilia, and the Archaeology of Yog Sothoth. Uh, you can also check out our other Lovecraftian fare, like The King in Yellow uh, and Lost Carcosa in the Yellow Sign. You can check out our podcast series where we talk about sci-fi and uh, pulp fiction. We've also got the Esoteric Dragon Mysteries, Decoding the Dragon Symbol and Myth in Occult Traditions, where we talk about dragons and Tolkien and Martin and other topics. And then finally, Alchemy and Anthroposophy in the Dune Saga, uh, digging deep into the Jungian and anthroposophical uh, highlights of the Dune Saga, things that make the Dune Saga great. So go check those out. Really the problem for the English in this one is the rear guard here. So the, the French has still has two rows of knights that are unengaged and two rows of light infantry that have not been engaged. Most of the archers of the English have been, I'm sorry, of the French have been uh, taken out. And our first wave of English attacks have been going well. So let's see if we can keep it keep the pressure on. I think we're going to try to target with the archers those light infantry in the back and then make the heavy Heavy foot and the knights sort of duke it out. So let's see if we can uh, make some progress here. We'll start out with uh, an initiative. We're also going to roll some morale checks this round so that uh, the English will get the initiative on this round. Uh, if we don't move our, bow, our bows, they can actually move twice. So we'll take these four and we're going to target the heavy armor of those knights. Um, unfortunately for targeting that heavy armor of knights, they are fully armored. So these four units are only able to roll ones, uh, given their numbers here. So actually they get three ones. So that's great. They get fives and sixes. So we'll go one, two, three right here. So we've got three line of sight knights have been taken out by our archers. We've got a second round of archers here going after these heavy foot. Let's also give them... Um, that's three. They have a chance to roll. Oh, they roll two sixes and these are both out. So this is great. Our archers are definitely helping here. This is the English longbowmen, right? So we've always thought of them as being strategic. Let's have our heavy knights march out into here to take on these, um, knights and bowmen here as well. And we'll spread our knights out this way to accommodate for all these troops push them into the breach here and even Henry will be fighting against these. So we'll move those forward and then finally uh, let's regroup this here to take this on and then these guys can regroup as a force against those knights coming in the next round. So we'll start out with our, our heavy, our armored knights versus our uh, heavy foot, armored foot versus armored foot, one die per man. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. 
and we don't get any hits there. That's unfortunate. Uh, we actually we do. We have actually we have two versus two of our heavy foots are actually against Bowman, so that's light foot. So heavy foot versus light foot, four to six kills. So these two we can roll four to six, and they still don't hit. So that's fine. Uh, let's look at again these knights heavy foot versus light foot fives and sixes we get this one so here we take one out here and then we've got these one two three four five light versus light six and five so we can take out one two of those light foot there and then there's finally this one heavy versus heavy That'll be one die with a six. And he rolls the six. Whoa, so the English are actually springing back here. This is quite unexpected. I thought that I had messed this up for sure. Okay, then finally we've got these heavy foot. One, two, three, four, five versus two light foot. That's going to be fives and sixes. There's also a light foot in there. I can do him last, but five. And then a light foot versus a light foot is a six. He does not attack. So that's fine. Uh, so that's going to leave the English first round. Let's flip it over to the French round now. Uh, the French have lost their archers. They have two archers here. Two. They're going to. Uh, they're in close range, and I think that they're going to have to do melee. But these archers can attack these archers. So let's go with those two. Two archers firing to light. Missile uh, attack is let's go here. Oh, so then the other thing is the morale check. We're going to do the morale check. So post melee, um, if it's a light foot morale factor, post melee. Let's read how post-melee morale works first, and then I'll get to those. So post-melee morale, melee morale, post-melee morale. The side with the fewer ca casualties determines the positive difference between their losses, and then they multiply the score of a dice and then roll the total needed. Okay, so let's just try this after the after this round. We'll, we'll, we'll tr throw a melee check in there. We can learn how the melee morale check works. So our knights will fire, I mean our archers will fire, uh, this will be missile attack um, for 1-2, firing on fully armored, they are not able to penetrate the fully armored, so that's, that's, that's that. These are going to fire on light, so two archers firing two on half armored, uh, they are also not able to penetrate them. Uh, then we have this one lone light infantry. Let's have him fight. Well, he's going to have to go against heavy, so let's just do a six. And he does not pass it. Uh, we'll also march forward these guys. One, two. And we'll move these also over. And just double checking that distance there. So these can move to here. Okay, and then uh, we'll also move these in. The, the, actually, we can move the Dauphin in as well. And let's move these forward as well. This light infantry will come in for the next round. Okay, so starting off with heavy, heavy infantry, we have one, two, three. One, two heavy infantry. So heavy versus heavy is sixes. No. Uh, light versus heavy. We'll roll two for three rounding up. And we get, oh, one of our, one of our knights is killed. We'll do um, the Dauphin and three. So we've got three. We just roll heavy to heavy. Oh, and one of our knights gets killed. And then we'll do, that's it. 
Okay, so now let's look at that post morale roll. So um, we've lost one, two, three. The French have lost a few more in this one. So we can roll to see. Okay, so we do a die roll. So we can do a two die roll. The side with future ca casualties determines a positive difference between their losses and those suffered by the enemy. That number is multiplied by the score of a die roll and the total noted. So, so it's a five, so it's like a five multiplier. So it's five times six, uh, and then it's 30. So 30 says back two moves for good order. So basically our guys are going to um, retreat back so it says so they're going to move back one one row so all of the troops are going to move back like let's just move them back three let's just say so they're going to kind of go back and regroup so one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. We'll move him back with these other light infantry. These light infantry will also retreat back. That's that for them. And then there's also this moving back, three, two, Three, one, two, three. So we have a time to regroup a bit here. Um, so, so yeah, this is our our regrouping phase. I guess we can regroup these from this morale test. So, let's start fresh again with a new morale with a new uh, initiative roll. So we'll have the French rolling and the English rolling. The French will get the initiative. So we'll first have, uh, let's have these bowmen fire at these heavy footmen here, right? So they've got two and they can do the table here with um, fully armored nothing and fully armored nothing. So the bowmen cannot land an attack. Uh, we'll move forward, all of these will move forward three, which is about this. So they can close this gap again. The archers will stay behind. Three. Um, we'll move. Oh, sorry, let's keep these like this. We will move um, these forward three as well. Let's move him back with these, and these can all move three this way. Three, 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 three. I mean, obviously, if we're playing with trays, it'd make it much easier to measure, but I'm just sort of going ahead with it as it is. And then let's move these heavy back in to engage here, forming this out, and then we can leave these guys in the flank here. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll these attacks. So we get five, we get four, and we get two damages here. So we're gonna lose this one and this one. And then we're gonna have these three missing, and these two on two missing. And that's gonna be the French round for now. So the French uh, were able to only score a, one or two casualties. Let's have the English now firing. Uh, I think they're gonna to try to take out these bowmen first off. So we'll get those four to roll and we get two. So these two bowmen are taken out. Let's go ahead and have these firing at this light infantry as well. That's three. 
uh, from the table they need um, four to six. So we got one four, so one of these is hit, four to six. Okay, so now English, uh, so our archers have, our longbowmen have gone. Now we'll move in our heavy foot against these knights. Just kind of line them up here. We'll move these heavy foot up against these knights as well. And these heavy foot are already engaged here. So we'll start out with our four units there. So four, uh, they roll and they needed sixes. These are against light and heavy. So three against the light, they need fives and sixes. Five and a six is two of the French. And then two against heavy, they have fives. So they miss. Um, and then lastly, it's heavy versus knights, heavy versus heavy uh, here. And no sixes. Okay, so once again, that's, um, we're gonna go back to the French now. The French will be able to volley over. They'll try to do two and they don't do damage with theirs. Let's have these two heavy, these three heavy knights go ahead and try to roll. They get one six, so they do take a knight out. Uh, let's have these three also roll. They do not make it. And then these heavy versus heavy, Again, oh, we have two more to roll. Heavy versus heavy, they also take out one of these. Okay, so um, we'll go back to the English. Uh, let's have our bowmen fire to these bowmen. The bowmen firing to these bowmen three and they get to take two of these and then these bowmen will try to volley over to those bowmen so that's four and they also take two bowmen so that's great for them okay so that long bowman strategy really paid off now let's have the heavy the knights five versus heavy knights we need sixes we got one six so we take out one of these knights, and then let's go to the next batch. It's four, these knights versus these three. Sixes again, no sixes. And then finally, four versus three. One more knight is taken out. So I think at this point, there's one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. This is twenty versus like sixteen. I think we'll kind of we can kind of end it here. Let's just end it here for the sake of sanity. But I think uh, we'll kind of just to simulate. It's like the Ag Agincourt victory. They'll take these prisoners because. Uh, uh, you know, it's getting pretty close. We still have the, the bowmen, so that's gonna be in our favor. So the long bowmen can start picking people off. Even if we retreated back, we can have the long bowmen re retreat. So let's just say, for example, if we move back here, right, we do it, we, do, we, we retreat these back, and we retreat these back, and we group these bowmen together for the next round, right, something like this then these bowmen can have it have an open attack on them. But you know, we'll just kind of leave it at that. But yeah, I think it's pretty interesting. I think it's been a good, a good experiment. What do you guys think? Um, obviously, there's some work to do with it, just getting familiar with the rules, a lot to put together here. So anyway, this is the idea. You can kind of get going on this pretty simply. Uh, just get some miniatures on the board. I'll leave you with some flying over the minis. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next round. I think for the next round, I'm going to jump into the OD&D original white box kind of set. And we'll roll up some characters and look at how that how that uh, functionality works. I am going to do. I am probably going to do a jousting matrix. There's a jousting table in this. I might set up a chainmail season two, just doing the jousting and maybe some some of the fantasy components of this. But the chainmail will come back into play when we play D and D. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you in the next game.
Take care. Bye-bye.